Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Shannon Scott, the Bard of Bonaventure, coming to you from inside of my daily story grind location, Bonaventure Cemetery, the beautiful, beautiful cemetery. I'm here in uh, aside the Jewish section of 1917 in Bonaventure. And I thought because there was a lot of um, rabble going on about the news story of a family plot being vandalized, um, I definitely wanted to take you guys, the fans there, the watchers to the plot. Uh, to show you the actual damage and to discuss it a little bit and to also uh, maybe water one of their plants. Um, but, uh, but yes, the Welsh family who many years ago during World War II, uh, 1943, lost, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call him one of the uncles, but uh, William Thomas Welsh was a part of the U.S. Merchant Marines and his headstone here at the back, and I'll kind of close in on it here momentarily, but um, nonetheless... You know, before the United States started really building submarines of any uh, caliber or greatness, the Germans definitely had like the, you know, the, the Red Barons squads of the oceans out there hunting uh, American merchant marine ships up and down the coast of the United States and also uh, Europe and other places, of course. Uh, and really the merchant marines as one um, uh, military unit lost more casualties in the Second World War than any other unit. And William Thomas Welsh died at sea when he was just 22 years of age uh, when uh, the ship he was on, and I don't know the name, I apologize, but uh, that's forthcoming. We intend to interview the family here in the plot at some point in the near future, and they've been generous and have said that they would be very uh, uh, interested in doing that. And uh, but, but the ceramic photo plaque, that was on the uh, the headstone of William Thomas Welsh used to sit here in the oval of the uh, the headstone and according to the family it was taken oh maybe in the past two weeks uh, it definitely didn't fall off and break someone actually really had to work to take this thing out of there but what would have been here at one time and I have a photo that I took some years ago because I was just so drawn to the the sweet face of Thomas Welsh would have been that. And you can see it was already chipped a little bit, you know, which is kind of typical of these, the way they weather and things like that. But just what a sweet face. And yeah, tragic, uh, his death, and also tragic that someone was so um, twisted in their mind that they had to make off with uh, the portrait of Thomas Welsh, especially right here at Memorial Day weekend. Um, We'd like to think there'd be a little more reverence and affinity shown instead of vandals, but that's exactly what went down here. So there is a $2,000 reward out there being offered by the family. And so, you know, if, if you have any information leading, obviously, um, you can contact me through the Facebook page here. Or my email address uh, is Shannon at shannonscott.com if you find anything. But we just kind of wanted to highlight this because, um, you know, graves, graveyards and grave robbing, uh, sadly, always hand in hand, as are vandals. And, of course, everyone here does what we can, or people that work here uh, do what they can to look out for things like this. Uh, but, yeah, sometimes, sadly, it's often the family that notices something missing versus some of the, uh, the workers themselves. But, anyway, just a tragic loss, obviously, in history and also... A loss to the family in the uh, the immediate sense so just wanted to kind of highlight this uh, you know draw some more emphasis to it because really what we do through social media here is honestly try to keep people connected to the cemeteries of old because yeah we're here all the time and we're out here more often maybe others and this kind of information and dialogue and communication strand I guess really keeps everyone kind of feeling and thinking about the cemeteries. So we thanks for, uh, thank you for watching and of course stay in touch with us. Remember uh, you can find us at BonaventureCemetery.com, Shannonscott.com and uh, check us out on the Facebook pages and Instagram of similar but we really are hopeful and feel like there's a lot of great energy around the search for this photo plaque especially that reward is very nice. I don't know who, may, who knows maybe someone out there watching will actually add more to that reward to get it back but also I did want to sort of finish on this that we received a uh, an email from a guy who owns a company in Elberton, Georgia, or has an office there called Porcelains Unlimited, and he's agreed to, or offered to replace this plaque 
uh, entirely free for the family. So, you know, that is maybe the silver lining if it never returns. Uh, so we want to thank Porcelains Unlimited out there for being so generous with that because, yeah, in this time of um, upset, uh, it's that kind of gesture that really means a lot. So, gang, thanks for watching, tuning in, and we will be back in touch soon with any updates.